Once a powerhouse of nuclear innovation, Germany now confronts the unintended consequences of its nuclear choices. How did this nation, with early nuclear breakthroughs and infrastructure prowess, reach this nosedive? What went wrong? Dive with us into the heart of Germany's nuclear problem. A map of Germany from the 1970s displays a country dotted with nuclear power plants. West Germany was home to the lion's share, with 24 major reactors spread across the region, playing a crucial role in generating a significant 25.6% of its total electricity production. On the flip side, East Germany had a modest nuclear footprint, boasting three major facilities, with the most significant being the Greifswald nuclear power plant. These weren't just symbols of technological prowess, but underlined Germany's commitment to the consistent and stable provision of energy. You see, intermittent renewable sources like wind and solar are dependent on variable conditions, and hence can have fluctuating outputs. In contrast, nuclear, coal, and gas stand out for their capability to maintain a consistent energy output, baseload power. In the context of Germany, nuclear power plants, with their reactors operating through controlled nuclear fission processes, were contributing massively to the national grid and its economic boom. But Germany's nuclear story wasn't just about domestic consumption. Their vast nuclear infrastructure meant they often produced a surplus. Strategically located in Europe, Germany was not just energy self-reliant, but also positioned to export surplus energy to the European energy market. However, sparks of dissent also began to emerge during the 1970s. Growing concerns about nuclear energy's environmental impact, radioactive waste and potential links to weaponry came to the forefront. This period witnessed increasing public dissent against nuclear power, fueled by its perceived dangers. By the mid-70s, the German public was deeply involved in protests against nuclear energy. One pivotal moment came in 1975 when 30,000 protesters occupied the construction site of the planned nuclear power plant in Wiel, located in southwestern Germany's Baden-Württemberg region. This resistance was further fueled by the Three Mile Island disaster in the US in 1979, prompting 200,000 protesters to take to the streets of Germany. These grassroots movements, a culmination of citizens' genuine fears and concerns, led to the formation of the Green Party in 1980. The Green Party, emerging from a union of environmentalists, peace activists, and grassroots campaigns, marked a transformative turn in German politics. With a robust emphasis on the perils and sustainability challenges of nuclear energy, they profoundly influenced Germany's energy policies. In 1986, the Chernobyl disaster, just north of Kyiv in Ukraine, spread radioactive cancer dust across Europe. This catastrophe solidified nuclear power's risks in the European consciousness, with Germans being particularly shaken. Following this, the momentum against nuclear power in Germany grew exponentially. By 1998, the phasing out of nuclear energy seemed inevitable. Just two years later, a coalition led by the SPD and the Green Party formally declared their plans to abandon nuclear power. This decision marked the beginning of Energiewende, Germany's ambitious energy transition. As a part of this transition, Germany swiftly shut down nuclear plants like Schlader and Obrigheim, laying out a vision for a greener future. The Renewable Energy Sources Act of 2000 encouraged the adoption of green energy, setting aggressive targets. Germany not only met but exceeded these goals, boasting a 30% renewable energy share by 2015. While Germany was celebrating its renewable energy successes and moving away from nuclear power, the world was not free from nuclear concerns. As if to remind the globe of the perils associated with nuclear energy, the Fukushima disaster struck Japan in March 2011. This tragedy led to the largest anti-nuclear demonstration in German history, with around 250,000 protesters taking to the streets on the 26th of March 2011. Polls during this period suggested that 75% of Germany favored an immediate exit from nuclear energy. Given this climate, and coupled with the surge in momentum of the Greens, Germany's governing party, the CDU-CSU, faced a looming risk of electoral defeat in Baden-Württemberg. Responding to the public sentiment and the mounting pressure, Angela Merkel's government underwent a significant policy shift. Demonstrating rare bipartisan unity, the Bundestag passed a landmark law, mandating that eight of the 17 reactors operational at that time be shut down by year's end. It was further decided that the remaining reactors would cease operations by the end of 2022. 
In the wake of its decision to phase out nuclear energy, Germany found itself tilting towards a rising dependency on fossil fuels, notably gas. And where do you think this gas came from? Well, Russia, of course, underscoring the country's growing energy reliance on the eastern giant. Even when Russia annexed Crimea in 2014, Germany did little to reduce its reliance on Russian gas. This complacency became starkly apparent in 2022. When Russia invaded Ukraine, Germany's deep-seated dependence on Russian natural gas was brutally exposed, leading to severe vulnerabilities in its energy supply chain, particularly with the temporary suspension of the contentious Nord Stream 2 pipeline. This pipeline was more than just infrastructure. It symbolized the deepening energy ties between Germany and Russia. However, the ripple effects of the geopolitical tensions didn't stop at energy. By May 2023, the German economy, which thrived on a model of importing cheap Russian energy and raw materials for processing and then exporting as high-value products, teetered on the brink of collapse, eventually declaring a recession. Robert Habeck, the economy minister and a Green Party member, painted a bleak picture of Germany's future. If the gas transit agreement between Ukraine and Russia expired in 2024 without renewal, Renewal, Germany could face the daunting prospect of drastically reducing or even halting its industrial activities. This was not just a theoretical risk. With the ongoing war in Ukraine and the cloud of uncertainty it cast, the consistent flow of Russian gas via Ukraine was in jeopardy. Further complicating matters were the European Union regulations, which obligated member states, including Germany, to provide gas to neighbors in case of severe shortages. This meant that if Central and Eastern Europe faced a gas deficit, Germany would be compelled to redirect its gas supply, leaving its industries gasping for resources. Amidst this chaos, the Green Party's blunders became the comic relief. They preached sustainability, but hilariously struggled to install a simple heat pump in their Berlin HQ since 2019. Green Party Secretary Michael Kellner's ambitious claim, first we are going to rebuild our HQ, then we'll rebuild the country, quickly became a punchline, highlighting their struggle with the headquarters as a worrying preview for the country. Given the economic and energy challenges, some political factions and experts began reconsidering the nuclear phase-out. In the political arena, the FDP allied with the opposition CDU-CSU to suggest prolonging the operation of nuclear power plants until mid-2024. Referencing the above decisions and events, Robert Harbeck stated on the 21st of August 2022 that while the phase-out would not be reversed, he remained open to prolonging the operation of the Izar nuclear power plant in Bavaria post a comprehensive electricity system review. On the 5th of September 2022, the federal government announced that two of the three remaining nuclear power plants, Nikar Vestheim and Isar 2, would operate beyond the 31st of December 2022 until April 2023, while the Emsland nuclear power plant was to be shut down as planned. However, the decision was revised on the 10th of October 2022 to keep all three plants in operation until the 15th of April 2023. Wolfgang Kubicki, deputy leader of the Free Democrats, emphasized in an interview with the Funke Media Group the safety of German nuclear plants and labeled their shutdown as a dramatic mistake, with considerable economic and ecological ramifications. However, despite these extensions, Germany officially ceased the operation of its last functioning nuclear power plants on the 15th of April 2023, marking a monumental moment in its history. Environmentalists and activists remained divided on this issue. Greta Thunberg, the notable Swedish environmental activist, criticized Germans' focus on coal over existing nuclear power. In contrast, Professor Volker Kvashning endorsed the decision to terminate nuclear power operations, emphasizing the inherent risks of nuclear technology. Now, amidst this discourse, one can't help but ask, did Germany's nuclear decisions lead them astray? The short answer is yes. You see, Germany's move away from nuclear energy wasn't influenced by weaponization fears. Instead, the fears stemmed from potential nuclear meltdowns, reminiscent of the Chernobyl catastrophe and the persistent challenges related to the storage of nuclear waste. Germany's deviation from nuclear stood in stark contrast to its neighbors. France, for instance, ardently embraced nuclear power, generating approximately 70% of its electricity from it. This energy strategy has rendered France more self-reliant, enabling it to export surplus energy. Meanwhile, Germany shifted towards becoming a net importer of energy, 
escalating its energy costs and deepening its reliance on fossil fuels. This departure not only escalated the nation's pollution levels, but, coupled with surging energy costs, strained its industrial sectors, a stark departure from its heyday as an emblem of energy efficiency. How do you view Germany's nuclear choice? Share below and subscribe for more insights.